what's up my crazy subscriber this is joking john 34 and today i want to talk about the next call of duty game which is going to be called call of duty advanced warfare now if you guys saw the youtube channel from call of duty they pretty much revealed the trailer they revealed the, some of the gameplay from the campaign mode and also they revealed the the name of the next call of duty game which is going to be called call of duty advanced warfare and i'm sorry for that that's what that was a tweet from epic ninja girl hd anyways yeah, they revealed the name, they revealed some of the gameplay, and I'm telling you right now guys, I think it's a combination between Black Ops 2 and Call of Duty Ghost. Because if you guys notice, it does have the textures. I'm talking about the, the wall paint, you know, the buildings and all that stuff. The textures are the same from Black Ops 2. They pretty much kind of look the same. And then uh, the engine, you know, how the weapon mechanics work and how everything looks kind of with the, with the weapon feelings and all that stuff. I don't know how to explain it, but... You know, the weapon mechanics and the engine it's running on is the same thing as Call of Duty Ghost. So, I was like, are you giving us another piece of shit? Or are you actually guys trying to improve this game? So, I'm, I'm still confused right now. I'm like, what are you guys trying to do here? Are you guys even trying anymore? So, my question to you guys is, are you guys excited for this next game? Are you guys excited for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Or how Ali A says it. Hello guys, welcome to Ali A Let's Play or whatever, you know. Uh, we got ourselves some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. Are you guys excited for that? <laughs> no, I, like, in my opinion guys, no. I'm not excited for this goddamn game. Man, it's the same thing from the previous game. It's so hurtful that they don't want to fucking admit it. They don't build around stuff, guys. They try new shit, and this new shit they're bring, they're bringing in, it's fucking terrible. Who fucking gave him advice? Like, who's fucking saying that? Oh, let's not go a step back. Let's not go to Modern Warfare 2 and take that engine and do it again. No, they're never gonna say that because they think that everything that's new is gonna be good. Like, no, it's not. Try to build around stuff, man. Try to build around it. <laughs> Games nowadays, man. Companies nowadays don't understand. They need some young talent out there to fucking guide these fucking companies because they don't know shit about the gamers. So anyways, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare looks the same and I'm thinking they might have the same kill streaks again. Like for example, the dog on kill streak number 5, the IMS, the fucking SATCOM, the fucking painful to use SATCOM. Why the fuck would you even put that on? That's another thing I want to talk about guys in another video. I would like to make my predicaments like on this game and what the hell is going to be coming up on the kill streaks and maps and uh, those are coming up in different videos but right now I'm just giving you my opinion on these kind of things like what I saw from the video uh, and also another thing that I saw is that the drones are coming back which is going to be pretty cool though I do enjoy the drones but the rest of the shit that's in the game and Call of Duty Ghosts I do not enjoy and also I think they're going with a new strategy on the maps guys because if you guys notice, the maps from Call of Duty Ghost are quite terrible. The original maps. They're, they're not playable at all. They're not enjoyable. They don't have a rhythm. They don't have good places in the maps. And then when they released the DLC, I kind of like two of the three maps they released on the first DLC. Kind of. So I'm thinking like, if they're releasing good maps on the DLC, why the fuck when they put them in the original maps? So it raises questions here guys, are they actually putting terrible maps on the game now? That the DLC has to be good maps in order for the DLC to actually make some value like... I think it's some kind of good marketing for them, but you know, sometimes to put the games in risks. Because now you're making gamers leave the game early. I think it will be better if you, if you did it like Black Ops 2. Put out the good maps and put the shitty maps after that, because the shitty maps actually cost like 10 bucks. So anyways, we're getting a little bit sidetracked here. Um, I don't think the game is worth, guys. I don't think it's, I don't even, I don't even think people should even buy the Harden Edition. The Harden Edition ain't even worth it either. I mean, by the looks of it, I don't think it's worth a lot, guys. I don't even know why people are comparing it to Modern Warfare 2 just because of the title. Um, no, I don't think it's gonna be like Modern Warfare 2 because they're never gonna build around stuff they built before, guys. We all know Activision. We all have seen how they built stuff, and it's not pretty. So guys, um, all I'm saying is that I don't recommend this game. From what I saw from the trailer, 
you know, I want to give the trailer a grade, guys. I want to give it a 7 out of 10. Because it showed us how they won't even build around a game. They're not adding nothing new, guys. They're, they're just putting old stuff. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> so... Yeah, guys, I mean, I will probably buy the game, but I, it, it will be only for business, though. When it comes down to business, it's not fun. And that's what I'm trying to say, guys. It's no longer fun. Back in Modern Warfare 3, I consider it business and fun time. It was fucking fun for me. When I played with Cruel 7 Chavez and a bunch of other players, um, like Gotcha Good and Psycho Kills and several other players out there, it was pretty fun. I enjoyed my time here. I actually still do. Even without the crew of the old school days, still I enjoyed this game because it's pretty fun. The, the explosions are pretty good, and it was a pretty much a well-made uh, game. Except there were some faulty mechanics out there, like, for example, the lag is quite terrible, and some other mechanics. So, um, yeah. But Call of Duty Advanced Warfare doesn't look fun. And uh, I'm not saying because, oh, you know, oh, because it doesn't have enough noobs, or, oh, no. I'm saying because the players that play this fucking game on Call of Duty Ghost camp way too much because they're taking advantage of the goddamn system. You know what? Well, I just want to give you a heads up on what's going to be up in my next video, guys. The reason why the spy plane should be put back over the SATCOM because the spy plane actually made campers work for it. You understand what I'm saying? Because when people camp and you call in the spy plane and they don't have ghosts, they're pretty much going to try their best to camp, which means they're going to pull out a rocket to take down the spy plane. That's when people try to camp so hard. When the, the point when they actually pull out the rocket launchers, I'm like, they're trying their best to fucking camp. You see? That's why I'm saying back in the day, the campers were better because they were actually trying to camp. Gamers nowadays in Call of Duty Ghosts, they're a piece of shit. Those are the same guys that got their asses whooped back in the day. I bet you 100 bucks that's fucking true. So anyways guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed my opinion. What's your opinion? I want to hear in the comment section. And if you like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I'm going to backhand slap you across the face. Nah, just kidding. I just want to hear your opinion guys. So leave a like and I'll see you guys later.